So with the new Black Panther movie coming out this weekend and all the excitement that's around it, I thought, what better way to maybe get some people to click on, the, on my video than to talk about it? Well, I'm not going to talk about the movie. I'm actually just going to talk about the Black Panther and what writers can learn from the character and the, and the idea of the Black Panther. Um, so give me a second here. So I want to talk a little bit about who the Black Panther is and where he, where he came from. So in 1966, um, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, two of the big creators of a lot of the Marvel characters, put together the idea of T'Challa, the Black Panther. Um, they created a fictional country called Wakanda, and Black Panther is actually the first character, um, African-American character, well, sorry, not African-American because he's not American. He's African. He's from an African country, but he's the first character of color who's a superhero he beat out the Falcon, who came in 69. Luke Cage was 72. Um, even DC Comics' John Stewart, who's one of the Green Lanterns, um, didn't come into the scene until 1971. Um, yeah, so T'Challa is like the original black superhero. And that's an important thing, especially when you look at the time frame and what's going on with comic books at that time. right? One of the biggest complaints about comic books is the idea that they're so white. You know, like Captain America's white. All the Fantastic Four is white. All of these big groups of people are white. And that's difficult to deal with. Um, you know, sometime around that time frame with T'Challa, you have the, the new and improved X-Men. Right? So the original group of X-Men was five kids, you know, five guys, or four, four white guys and one white girl. And Professor X is also white. Um, and then you get the new group of X-Men that comes in when they when they reboot when they restart the series, and you've got Storm, and you've got Wolverine, who's well, he's Canadian, um, he's still white. Um, but you have a Russian, you have um, Banshee, who's from from Ireland. Um, you've got a Japanese superhero in Sunfire. Um, you've got a Native American. You know, a lot of diversity, oh, and a Russian, a German, I mean. Um, so you have all this diversity, and from the from the point where T'Challa comes in, he is the beginning of that, um, and that's an important thing for the Marvel universe, and it's important for comic books in general to have that representation and that you know that ability to have those different voices and perspectives. Um, are, do we still need work in it? Absolutely. Um, but let's talk about some things that you, as a writer can learn to bring more diversity and to embrace some of the things that, that are important about who T'Challa is and the things that have happened with this character. So when, when looking at any Marvel character, it's important to consider what, what, was, what is considered the, the Marvel method, right? So when Stan Lee was in charge of Marvel and writing for Marvel and creating characters, um, he had a different perspective on how that process should work from from the from the DC universe. So with, with DC characters, you have these larger than life figures, and they're you know like Superman is this ultimate Boy Scout, and Batman is especially in the time frame when when the Marvel method was happening was was closer to you know that 60s TV show with Adam West. Um, not not quite as bad, but he was still kind of a you know, less of the gritty character that we see today. And so with the DC universe, you have these larger than life, um, almost not even approachable um, as, as human being characters. Um, so what Marvel did, with what Stan Lee's approach was to make them human. So when you look at the Fantastic Four, they're an actual family and they have this, you know, this relationship, you, you know, if you, see in the comic books or in the movies, you know, Ben and Johnny are always like at each other's throats, but they love each other, um, which is kind of how it works sometimes as siblings. Um, but so when you look at T'Challa as a character, not just as a Black Panther, he has this, this solid and complete persona. There's more to him than just being the Black Panther. It's not, you know, like when you see Superman, 
you know, he's Superman. And sure, he does he does that Clark Kent thing sometimes on the side, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. It's not important to who he is. I mean, it, it is to a certain extent, but it's not really that big part of it. But when you look at T'Challa, you know, he is a Black Panther, absolutely. However, that's not all he is. That's not his complete identity. You know, he's the king of Wakanda. He is a protector of his people. Um, and part of why he comes and becomes a part of the Avengers is so that he can um, make sure that they're not trying to interrupt what's going on with his people. He's trying to protect his people when he, when he comes and joins the Avengers. When he comes and interacts with the world as a hero, it's for the purpose of his country. And that is an integral part of who he is as a character. Um, so when you're creating characters, you need to keep that in mind that you know they have to have a purpose, and what you know what things motivate them the most, who makes them, what makes them want to perform at the highest level that they can, right? So that's one thing you can learn. Next up, you want to consider. Um, what is it that makes your character different from everyone else around them, right? So T'Challa is in this world of superheroes, and he can't compete in some levels. He doesn't run around in a giant suit of armor. He doesn't have a big hammer that shoot, you know that makes lightning happen. Um, he doesn't have the same abilities as others around him. However, because of who he is and what he can do. He is a hero, and he is able to work with that in a way that is different, but also significant. Um, you know, he is not Captain America. He doesn't have a big shield. He's got the cat suit. He's got the claws. He's got the abilities that he has gained from the the, the cat god, of, sorry, the panther god of his people. And so, you know, his he he may be a part of the team at times, but his goal is different than the team. He doesn't just, um, you know, he's with the Avengers sometimes, or he's with an, another group, but his purpose and his goals are separate from those things, um, just like every character. So anyone who might be a part of the Avengers or the Fantastic Four or whatever, they have their own reasons and purposes for being part of that group. And it's within them to to do what they're doing. As a writer, it's your job with whatever character you're working with, whether it's in a superhero world or not, to help them to present themselves and what their goals and aspirations are. Um, anyone who's writing for Marvel for the Black Panther should have that idea in mind. It's not just one thing or two things. There are multiple motivations within a character. Um, and that's something else we can learn from, from Black Panther. All right. And the last thing that I want to talk about is, um, as a character, Black Panther has a sense of self. He knows who he is and he knows what he can do. Um, he has confidence in that ability and those and that understanding. Um, now, not every character is going to be so self-confident and aware of themselves. However, as an individual person, Whoever, whoever you are watching this, you know certain things about yourself. You know who you are to a certain extent and what you can and cannot do. And so you make your choices based on that. Your characters are going to be the same way. You need to be aware of how self-aware they are. So T'Challa is extremely self-aware. He's trained himself to know his abilities and his limitations and his, um, you know, what he can and cannot do. And that is an important thing. But also, you know, when you're working on your own characters, you want to have a clear sense of what they know about who they are so that you can also work within that in your writing so you can present them accurately. All right. So there's the three things that we wanted that I wanted to talk about. Um, if you haven't seen the Black Panther, go see it. I haven't seen it, but that doesn't mean that it's not worth seeing. because it looks really awesome and there's a lot of good reviews on it. Go see the movie. Just do it. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, um, if you like the video, you can click like and subscribe. Um, you can get more information about what's going on and the updates and everything. Um, you know, if you want to, you can go to writers. Um, sorry, writers. 
at .tumblr.com for the, for the writing blog for writers, which is where this is going to get posted at. Um, you can also check out up here is the information for the Patreon, um, as well as the thing that I'm forgetting, and it'll pop up there, um, whatever it is. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And go see the Black Panther. Just do it. What are you waiting for?